welcome back to Food Glam Life. My name's Sana, and here I have my little tribe. Hafsa, Dunna, Hania. We are back with a taste test. So I was in Saudi Arabia recently. I was there for Umrah, and I decided that we should do a Saudi sex taste test. And I was wondering what sort of stuff I should get from there. And a really good friend of mine, Dalia, helped me out. So she sent me some different things to get. Some of them I did get. Some of them I was not able to find because apparently they don't sell them anymore. So thank you so much, Dalia, for helping me out. I was able to pick up a lot of things because of that. And other things I just asked around and then I just thought like, you know, okay, what sort of makes sense? So most of the things we got was from this store. It's called Bin Daud. If you are familiar with the Saudi region or whatever, you probably know about it. It's very popular. And then a lot of the smaller, some of the things I got from, what are they called? Bakalas? Yeah. Balakas? Bakalas. 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 So those are little corner stores. Quite a few things here. And we're probably missing a whole bunch of like things that are very, very Saudi. But this is what we could do. And we're going to try them out. Some of them we kind of have an idea of. This one I do. So we laid them out over here like we did with the American snacks. And let's get started. So where do we start from? Do we start from here? Okay, so this one that we are starting with, these are called, called, <laughs> they're called Quavers. Quav they're by Lay's. Yeah, they're, they are by Lay's. And they're chips and they're a potato snack product and they're cheese flavored. So I don't know how authentic this is, but I thought it was interesting because we have Hamara Pakistani Lay's hota hai, we have like masala flavor and tandoori and things like that. So I thought yeah, maybe we should try something that's a local over there. Okay, so the first thing, is that it does not look like it's not a potato chip, they're right, it's a potato product. So you basically boy with your pulverized karke. Pringles, they make a paste out of it and then they make something out of it. Tastes really cheesy. Yeah. But it's good. It's I think it's better than our French cheese and onion flavor. Mazika. What does it remind you of? There's a Pringles flavor like this. I think there's orange one. Yeah, I think it tastes like those snackers. Which snackers? She's right. The pizza flavored snackers. Oh. What are snackers? I, I see of them. They're triangular. They're, yeah. they're either triangular or they're shaped like little rackets. Okay, let me know in the comments. Should we do a, like a Pakistani snacks taste test? Because I think there's so many things now. I don't even know a lot about them. I try not to eat most of this stuff. Acha. So next we have, okay, so she told me Al Batal and um, she actually told me to get the butter flavor. I guess that's a classic flavor. So I got this and then later I saw this at another store. So I was like, hmm, let me get both of them. This is cheese flavor and that is butter flavor. Yes. And it says that it's popped in air, not oil. And it's a high source of fiber, gluten-free, with no artificial colors. It's whole grain. I guess it's considered a healthier snack. So should we start with cheese? Let's start with butter, right? Okay, we'll yeah. Looks like nice, freshly popped popcorn. Mm. Mm. Why is it sweet? No. Yeah, it's sort of sweet. Yep. It's like the first flavor is sweet. Yeah. And then... That doesn't taste like butter. It doesn't taste. It's like a... It I don't like it. It's like sweet and salty. It tastes horrible. It doesn't have butter in it. It has nature identical butter flavor. Which is probably why it tastes like fake butter. Yeah. That was kind of a fail. Okay, so the cheese one is almost a little orangey, kind of like the color on the packet. It's really orange. Okay. It tastes how you would expect it to taste. This tastes like cheese pops. It's okay. like the taste. Yeah, it tastes like popcorn Wait. with cheese powder on it. Yeah, I like, like it though. Abila, I want something else. The cheese powder. Caddy chins. Yeah, caddy yeah. chins. Caddy chins, but corn, yeah, like corn. Okay, so this was one of, I think this is the most expensive thing that I got. These are called choco dates. And of course, so we were in Saudi, I had to get dates. Saudis are big on like uh, stuffed and chocolate covered dates. This one has almond. Yeah. And it's covered with three different kinds of chocolate. So this is an assorted flavor. So it means that it comes with milk, dark, and, and white chocolate. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There are three milk, there are two dark, and one white. So honey, you go with white. I'll go dark, because I prefer dark chocolate. Me too. This is what it looks like. That's the dark one. This is the white one. Show the milk one. I don't know. This is good. No. Mmm. I've had um, it's a, really good a lot of varieties. Food. Of this kind of, this is definitely like a much better kind of sort of chocolate, like in terms of taste. The chocolate, yeah, 
You know how like with the turkey snacks, we didn't like most of the chocolate? This chocolate is good, but I guess it's like a luxury product, so like, it was very low in it. Seven pieces. Should we try a drink? So I got three drinks. These two I got because, you know, I had, it was like, okay, these two for me are very, very Saudi in my head. Anything Al Marai, they make, they make juices, they make a whole bunch of like dairy products like cheese and butter and things like that and Nadik as well. So this is the Al Marai. I'm sure you know about these. They, this is their mixed fruit drink. And then the Nadik is like, ye Milo jaisa. it's like a chocolate milk. I don't remember it being this sweet. But also, I haven't been having sweet for a while now, so I think these guys could tell better. It isn't that sweet. It's not that sweet? The right amount of sweet. <laughs> it's like Goldilocks. I remember it being like this. So they say there's no added sugar in this, but it's juice concentrate. So that definitely makes stuff sweeter. It's been on a mixed fruit concentrate. Mein hai. Apple, orange, pineapple, passion fruit, guava, apricot, mango, banana, mm. lime. Wow, so there's a lot of stuff here, plus natural and artificial flavors. So there's a lot going on here. <laughs> The other one that I also got was this thing called Sun Top. This is supposed to be like a really popular and like Purana, like from the 80s. Kids remember that Sun Top was drinking in Saudi. That's what everyone was telling me. The one I got is mango. This is the Alfonso mango. They had a few other flavors, but we'll see what the whole hype is about. Let's go with the peanuts. Okay. So this one she told me, Dahlia told me, I don't know what's special about them. It's got a very strange looking character on it and they're just called salted peanuts by best bf best foods i guess i don't know and it's ki khas baat ye ki ye roasted hain aur salted hain and it's peanuts i mean they're very very dark more than what you normally we, yeah. what we're normally used to seeing they're pretty sour yeah they're better they're kind of they have a powder coating on them i guess of the salt yeah and it tastes like peanuts it's just like dark roasted peanuts though over roasted. They're okay. They taste like normal Men. peanuts. They're just roasted peanuts. Yeah. Nothing, Nothing special about them. Yeah. Okay. So this is one thing that everybody knows or should know if you don't know. These are mamul cookies and they're again, they are very, very specific to Saudi Arabia and a really big like Arab snack. These are basically filled with dates and they're cookies. Soft cookie with date filling. They're all individually wrapped. One thing that I noticed there and I was really, really upset about is how much, especially in Makkah and Medina, how much food wastage there is and how much plastic use and wastage there is. Every single thing is just over, like the, there's over consumption of plastic and there's a lot of trash and they really need to start moving, I think personally, into something that's more sustainable. So a mamul cookie will look like this. If you are from the US, you, you should know about Fig Newtons. This is the closest mm -hmm. thing that I can say it's to closest to Fig Newtons. Fig Newtons may fig ki ya injir ki filling hoti hai. Uh, has, it's filled with fig paste and this one is filled with date. Mm -hmm. Really soft. It doesn't the have a bite to it. The biscuit's good though. Oh, it's really good. There's something very, I feel like cozy about it. Feels like a cushion. <laughs> It's usually considered like a tea time snack. What's next? Okay, so we got two more savory things. These I got from the Bakala. So these are like a cheese puff thing. My friend told me to get this one thing called fish fash and every place I was asking, they didn't have those. But they looked like, they like you know, they were like buffak sort of. So this also says buffak. And it's like corn cheese curl sort of thing. So let's try this. Didn't they say it got discontinued or something? Oh yeah, they said we don't get those anymore. They're really soft and crispy. Very, very salty. They explode in your mouth. Very cheese flavor, like not real cheese, obviously. Type. They taste like Again, can be compared to caddy chins. But I think caddy chins are better. These are a little sweet. Mm. They kind of make me feel sick. Real talk, caddy chins are so much better. I haven't had puffak for a really long time. When we were little kids and we used to live in Sudan, our grocery basically Dubai se aati thi because my dad used to travel between Sudan and Dubai a lot. So my side grocery was there and the puffak was like, which is basically was our introduction to cheese curls and they were like the original. That was like a staple. I don't know how healthy that is, but that was like our lunch box and that was a staple to have. Kraft cream cheese, uska ek sandwich hota tha, ka ek bag hota tha, and then a piece of fruit and whatever else. And I remember because when you, we were in school, we would often like, yeah, we would exchange lunches. Sometimes someone would have a cupcake or a rice cake or something because I was in an international school, so there were people from all over the world. So puffak was my like main 
barter thing. People wanted my pofat bag <laughs> and then I would get their cupcake or something like that. So that was, those are fun memories. Khair. So this is the Nadik chocolate milk. Captain Nadik. <laughs> Which I guess is our character. It's really mm -hmm. sweet. Abdullah and I uh, remember this character and, and this is very familiar because we used to have this growing up whenever we went to visit our grandparents who live in Saudi Arabia. So the good thing about this is, I think, like Milo, it's usually like a powdered drink with water. I don't think they really put milk in it. So this, because Nadek again does like dairy stuff, this has natural cow's milk. It's 2%, so it's low fat milk. Like she said, it's sweet because like the very next thing they put in is sugar. So there's more sugar than cocoa powder. Yeah, but it... It tastes like chocolate milk. I think it's pretty good. Okay, so this this is another thing that was a recommendation from my friend Dahlia. These are basically jelly candies and they are called burgat. Gummy candies, they're raspberry and blackberry. That's what the package looks like. We have something similar in like small packets in our canteen at school. It's but it's cold. Pakistani meetings. But they look more like berries, like there's balls on them. So these are berries. I tried to tell those ones. Like, yeah, okay, I've seen those. I haven't tried so this is what they look like. Obviously, this is the blackberry and this is the raspberry. I'm gonna start with the raspberry because I prefer blackberry. So I'm thinking if I don't like the raspberry, I'll... it isn't that sweet. Yeah, it's not. It's nice. I like it. I like the blackberry. It's got a tanginess. I'm. I had the raspberry one. All right, mom. The raspberry isn't that sweet. Funnily enough, I prefer the raspberry one. Me too. Blackberry got deep taste. It's too artificial. Very good. I mean, when you, what? the blackberry one. Mm. Yeah, oh, this really one's better, the pink one. So I thought we should pick up a chocolate as well. I couldn't decide, I couldn't tell, but then I saw this one and it was called Gandur Hush. And I thought that looks pretty authentic. <laughs> should go with that. Enjoy a light and crumbly milk chocolate sensation. I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate, but. It's like Cadbury bubbly. Yeah. But the texture that mm. the bubbly mm. chocolate has inside yeah. it, that's yeah. that's what it is. Nay, I gave him a smaller piece. Ah! Mm. It's too sweet for me. I, I like it. It tastes like Ovaltine. <laughs> yeah, it did. That was weird. It's like malt it's chocolate. It's made in Jeddah. It's so weird where everything is like nature identical flavors. Milk, cream, vanilla. Sugar, vegetable fat, palm and shea and shea nut. Milk solids, cocoa solids, most part. I but it tastes like Ovaltine. This was, um, I think one of the things that she told me to get was, yeah, this crispy ABCs. Except I think those were more like the potato product stuff. These, and uh, this was ketchup flavored. Personally, I despise ketchup Same. flavored stuff, but I don't know, people have a thing for it. I don't know why people like it, but these are called nice potato chips and they are natural potato chips with tomato ketchup flavor. I'm very picky about chip flavors. Can I have tiny mm. cheers? Mm. It tastes like old ketchup. The ketchup is I don't like ketchup flavored chips. Oh, you don't? But these are honestly, they're not that bad. They're not as bad as the yeah, big like, ketchup chips. I don't even eat those, I don't even know. But like, I maybe I don't know which ketchup one I tried and I know this like disgusting. Yeah, she's it kind good. of has like, has a barbecue sauce flavor, but I don't like barbecue sauce the either. HP sauce. Okay, let them. Okay, that's actually pretty good. It's surprisingly not as, as sweet as I thought because there's a yahan jo Pakistani mango drinks hoti hai. Juices mostly like Yishizan and Tops and those kind of, Those are like really fake flavored and very very sweet. Yeah. And this doesn't taste like that. It's actually, it tastes good. It's okay. It's okay. It tastes like yeah. slice. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like slice. I don't think I've had that. It does taste like slice. So this is water, sugar, mango puree, and apple juice from Concentrate. Apple juice? Yeah, there is like and this natural mango kata flavor. that hits your throat. <clears throat> Alright, so finally we got these. I don't know what these are. I just saw them. They look like soft cakes. They're also by Gandur, the same one as the chocolate. And they're called Yamama. So you can do your Yamama jokes on these. They look really interesting to me. They had a whole bunch of flavors actually. But this one is American brownie cake and one is apple cinnamon cake. And that is what the packaging looks like on the front. Apple cinnamon is the new flavor. Let's. Which one do you guys want to start with? Yeah. Uh, apple cinnamon. They're pretty squidgy from outside, and then under say they're like. It's like those pecky cakes. Is it? Except really tiny. And they have a filling inside. Right. The cake isn't that good, but it, like it's a nice flavor. Mm. Like it'd be mm. like a apple like, cinnamon cake. 
It's actually good. Yeah. Nice. And it actually the cake smells better. It's a little little bit dry, which you would expect, but it's not that dry. It's not like what Jenny or I thought like it was like sucking out all the you know moisture from our face. It's not like that. I think the filling is too sweet. But I think the filling is kind of in terms of flavor, what they're selling, it's it's pretty the filling is really sweet. But it tastes like apple cinnamon. And the second one is American brownie. The first ingredient is sugar. There's more sugar than wheat flour. Glucose syrup, vegetable fat. There goes my mm -hmm. diet. <laughs> Eggs, okay, milk, solids. This is natural and natural meal. identical flavors of cinnamon, apple, and vanilla. Yeah. All right, so this is the American brownie one. So it's a little darker as expected. Mm, I don't like that one. It's just doesn't taste like anything. Doesn't taste like brownie. Doesn't taste like chocolate. It it just tastes like the ones we have here, like for tea and Euro cake. It yeah. just tastes like sugar. Yeah, actually, probably worse than those. So that was it. Tell me the ones we missed. Let's do like a, you know, what was our favorite, what was the worst kind of thing. What was that? This is my favorite. Yeah, Quavers. 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 Mamul. Mamul. Both of them are top notch. Um, mm. Did you like the cheese curls? Mm, I like these. The jellies were also nice. These, yeah, this was really good. The raspberry one, specifically. Oh. The popcorns were kind of boring. Like, no. like this one was... I don't think I'd reach for it next time. This was making me feel sick. The Sun Pop Mango drink wasn't bad, it's fine. I like this. I really like these, but the dark chocolate one only. Except they were pretty expensive, so there's more like a luxe product. I think I'd get the apple cinnamon flavor. I did not like the American brownie cake, that was really gross. The ketchup flavored chips, what did you think of the ketchup flavored chips? No, mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Chocolate covered dates stuffed with almonds are like my all time favorite thing. I always ask someone to bring them. This was weird. This, I, it didn't taste like butter popcorn at all. A chocolate bar, not for me. Same. Mm. It's weird. Really weird. So yeah, I guess most of the stuff was a little weird. <laughs> um, the peanuts were basic. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Mamul. The, and the quaver chips, I think those are the best, and then these things. Those are my top three. Let us know if there's anything that we're really, really missing that should have definitely been on this. Other than that, I can't wait to travel next so that we can do another one of these and test out snacks from that country or whatever. And yeah, 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 let me know in the comments down below if we should do Pakistani snacks and then send like your recommendations as well. All right, so that was all from us. I hope you enjoyed this episode of us taste testing snacks and let us know what you thought about it. If you liked it, then guys, fill in here. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. And be sure to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.